flow in 2011 was 11.33, excuse me, and we're expecting to have a that. So if you know of any impacts that happened in 2011, expect a half a foot or more above that, and the channel itself will change as well. So. The National Weather Service says floodwaters are rising higher and sooner than anticipated. Officials say the Clark Fork River could reach major flood stage in just a few days. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kent Lutzen. The Missoula County Sheriff's Office and Disaster and Emergency Service Department are telling some residents that they may, de may need to be ready to leave their homes if the flooding situation worsens. The area being assessed is north of 3rd Street to the Clark Fork River from Reserve to Clement Street. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will begin inspecting Missoula's levees later today. Meanwhile, people in the Orchard Homes area continue to deal with flooding and they are not out of the woods yet. MTN's Connor McCauley joins us now live from Tower Street with more on what what the situation looks like there right now. Connor. Thanks Kent. Tower Street residents have been underwater all week and those conditions look like they're going to get worse. The Clark Fort looks like it's going to rise to about 13 feet, about two feet more than normal weather, weather predictions. Tower Street residents have been preparing for rising floodwaters all week. And now those preparations are being put to the test as new weather forecasts show higher levels than predicted. We know the water is coming up significantly, about, about three feet. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that translates to here and how much water we're going to see here. We know the water is going to rise, but we don't think it's going to rise three feet up the sandbags. We think it's going to spread out. Most houses on the street have sandbag barriers to prevent floodwaters. The city is helping to provide those bags, but filling them is up to the residents. Uh, the town has been providing sandbags, but they haven't been providing sand at all. So uh, we've had some donations um, for sand from, I believe, one of the local churches and also Boyce Lumber, which um, is absolutely awesome. And the, and the community is really appreciative of that. Residents are also preparing to possibly be stuck in their homes for a long period of time. Make, we, we got like our boat ready and tied by the house because where we live at that at that level we might not be able to walk in and out easily with uh, waders and rushing water and we're making sure we have plenty of fresh water in the house and also having having our grocery shopping done now things like that being kind of ready to hunker down a bit because it may be difficult and inconvenient to get out of here. Residents are thankful for all the help from the community, but ask that sightseers please give them some space so that they can work preparing their houses. From Missoula, Connor McCauley, MTN News. All right, thank you, Connor. Meteorologist Russ Thomas has been tracking all of these developments from our Storm Tracker Weather Center, and he joined us now with more on why the National Weather Service changed their predictions and the urgency of that updated warning. Russ? Thanks, Kent. Yeah, and what it's really dealing with is this. We've got a couple things happening. We've got the opportunity for rain, which kind of has been coming and going. Another shot tonight. In fact, potentially some heavier rain, maybe a thunderstorm or two. Then you factor in those warm temperatures. And not only is it warm during the day, but just recently here, these overnight temperatures have been hanging in the 40s and even low 50s in some spots as well. That also means we're not seeing that kind of gap overnight where the, the snow is kind of slower in melting. So you put all those things together. We're looking at about the 13 feet. And again, we've got by Friday AM. This has actually been upgraded uh, to about Tuesday evening, right through that Friday, Saturday time period. Also, the gentleman uh, interviewed there talked about the idea of the water, not so much uh, continuing to rise that high above the sandbags, but the fact that it really does just spread out, affecting a lot more areas across the area. Again, once again, this is your flood warning. Also want to mention the Bitterroot River now under a flood watch near Missoula, also near Victor and Darby uh, going above flood stage perhaps later this week. Something we'll keep an eye out on as well. And uh, again, we'll have more details on that coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Russ. The American Red Cross is operating an evacuation shelter for flood victims. The shelter is located at Christ the King Church at 1400 Gerald Avenue in Missoula. Residents seeking shelter should call 1-800-272-6668. Anyone who needs emergency assistance in the event of an accident evacuation order should contact 911. So what's next? A public meeting is scheduled for tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. at Hawthorne Elementary School. And it's not just Missoula County dealing with rising waters. Flooding is happening in the Sealy Lake area as well and along the Highway 83 corridor. Now MTN's Lauren Heiser joins us live in the studio with more on the impact to those residents. Lauren, what do you got for us? Thanks, Kent. I spent the afternoon in Sealy Lake and got to see some of the damage from the first flooding up close. Residents with homes near the water are taking steps now to plan for the future during this spring flooding season. 
Dave Lane, the Sealy Rural Fire District Chief, says they're making changes to ensure that homeowners have all of the necessary resources to protect their properties. As there's flooding in Missoula, we know that we're downstream from there, so we're trying to help prepare people in the community to kind of safeguard their homes the best they can. Um, we're helping with some other agencies provide sand and sandbags to get out to the communities. And one of the places is here at Station 2 for Sealy Lake Fire District. In the past, they've dropped off sandbags to protect homes, and residents have had to find the materials to fill them themselves. But this time, they're providing filled bags as well as the materials to fill extras at various locations throughout Sealy. Lane said that at the moment, the majority of the homes affected are vacation homes and not primary residences. But if more people's homes are affected, they plan on being prepared. If we do get a lot of runoff, there's obviously going to be limited housing, and that will definitely have an effect on the community. We've been in contact with the Red Cross, so they're making arrangements to provide shelter for those that may need it in the, in the near future. The warmer weather is helping to dry out some of those roads that were underwater and making it easier for people to get to and from their homes. Kent, now back to you. Thanks, Lauren. Sealy Lake residents can find sandbags at Sealy Lake Rural Fire Department Station 1, located at 200 Firehouse Drive, just off A Street, and at the Missoula County Satellite Office at SLRFD Station 2, north of Sealy. Also, John Richards Construction, I Know Jack LLC, and Deer Creek Excavating, as well as Naturescapes of Sealy, have kindly provided sand for public use. And thanks to donations and community support, Missoula County has also set up a sandbagging station and central resource hub at the Orchards Homes Country Life Club at 2537 3rd Street West. Now, if you are a big hiker and camper, you will want to know state officials have delayed the opening of Placid Lake State Park and Salmon Lake State Park due to spring flooding at both of those sites. Montana State Parks reports that both parks will remain closed until further notice due to public safety concerns. The parks were expected to open May 1st, but high water levels in both lakes have resulted in flooding to parks, areas, and roads. Park staff will continue to monitor that, that situation, and the parks will open for the season once public safety concerns have been alleviated.